64 El Camino, drug out of a barn out in Cuna, Idaho, had been sitting there for 33 years. And I'm telling you, I'll show the pictures here, but it was dead. Well, it doesn't look so dead anymore. It's, uh, it still needs a little bit of work, but uh, you know, I'll show you some befores of the engine and I'll show you some afters there. I mean, you can see that's a pretty nice looking, uh, looking motor now. Hey guys, Tom with Buff right here. One of the things that I love to do in the detail industry is to help guys learn a way to make some extra income. So one of the things that I've done over the years, a lot of times, like over 200 times, uh, is flip cars. The, you guys are all armed with everything that you need to make that happen. We all have times of the year that get slow. We all have times of the year that we're not making as much as we want to. Um, and we have shop time with our employees or with us that we're stagnant and we're just doing nothing. So here's how flipping a car can help you. You can flip up to 10 cars a year in most states without a dealer's license. And you're all affiliated with dealers already. Look for that car on their back lot and let's bring it to your shop. Let's bring it to the shop that you buy. Maybe you buy it for 500 bucks. Maybe you buy it for a thousand bucks. Something you can add value to. And only you know what that is. You know what your strong suits are. So I want to end these installations each time, these op-eds. I want to be able to bring you information that can help you with that. Um, ways to avoid the pitfalls and ways to help you identify those cars that will be good for you to make that money with. You know how to detail, you know how to polish, you know how to clean interiors. Those are some of the big things that the dealers are using you for to make money. Let's take what you're using your skills for because they do a $100 detail and turn it into $3,000 extra of value for that car. Let's let you make some of that value. Let's let you do that a few times a year. So join me each quarter and we'll be having more editorials on how we can do that. So I'll see you next time guys and stay busy and have fun at what you're doing and thank you.